So first take your glass jar or vase that you want to use and uh, I washed it completely out with hot water and soap and that actually helps really well to get those annoying little stickers off the bottom. Let it completely dry and then you're going to take your uh, surface conditioner which is basically um, pretty much alcohol, rubbing alcohol. If you smelled this right now it would smell like nail polish remover um, but just for you know safety sake I wanted to make sure I did it right so I purchased this and you're going to pour some into the jar. You don't need too much. And then you're going to basically roll it around on the inside to coat the entire inside. And I just kind of roll it around and work my way all the way up the sides. And then I'm just gonna let that dry, which will only take a few minutes, and come back. All right, so the vase is completely dry. Now we're gonna move on to our paint. This is uh, Air Dry Perm Enamel by Delta, and it's for glass, ceramic, ceramic, and tile. And this basically can be um, used in the dishwasher or washed, it's no problem. You just don't wanna eat from it if you're gonna be painting any sort of glass or plates that you're gonna eat off of. Um, it's just for decoration. So this is the shade Blue Bayou. And then I also have, I'm gonna try to mix these two, Emperor Blue. Basically you can see one's a little bit lighter and darker. And I'm gonna mix them up and just make my own color. Now there are different types of brands of paint out there that you can use for ceramic. These were actually looking like they were being discontinued at Michaels, so I'm not sure how much longer you'll be able to get them. But there are other brands that you can find with no problem. All right, so first I'm actually going to take this Emperor Blue, and in my little glass bowl here, I'm just going to put some in there. You'd be surprised how actually much you don't need to coat this. And then the lighter color, I'm just going to put a little bit in. And then I'm going to take a straw. And just kind of swirl it around, make my own blue color. You can adjust it to how you want it. I'm just going to put a little bit more. Okay, so it's all mixed up. Now you have your brush handy, and basically, you're just going to pour this paint into the vase. can use the brush to kind of brush it in and don't worry this paint is really easy to wash off so you know as long as you don't let it dry completely it's not going to ruin any bowl or anything that you put it into and next you're just gonna let this kind of swirl around like you did with the conditioner Kind of let it just coat itself, as you can see. Get the bottom really good. This is where your brush can kind of come in handy to kind of spread it out a little bit. And you uh, determine your own thickness of what you want because you can make it as thick or as thin as you'd like. And then basically what I do is I kind of just start pushing the paint up with my brush. And then I might go back to letting it coat itself again. Put a little bit more in there. This really is kind of like a no fail kind of project. You really can't go wrong. Um, one little tip I did find by experimenting is using different paints, you really wanna make sure your paint is thinner rather than thicker. Because if you use a thicker paint, you're actually gonna really see the brush strokes. Whereas this is a paint that really kind of just coats itself and it's loose enough so that it falls. And um, 
kind of just automatically coats it itself. And so therefore you won't see the paint brush strokes. On some of the other ones I tried, um, they were thicker and I actually did end up seeing the brush strokes, which was not so pretty. Um, it gave it a different look, but it's just not what I was looking for. So on here in the edges, you're just gonna gently go right up to the edge and let your brush kind of guide you all the way around. So now we're just gonna tip it upside down let it sit for about an hour and we will come back to it and check on it. Okay, so it's been an hour and let's see, as you can see, completely coated on the inside and uh, it's still wet. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit it upright for about the next day or overnight and it should be good to go. Just check it on the inside with your finger a little bit like you would check your fingernail polish. Um, and there you go, you can wash it. Just don't drink out of it. Um, and you're good, you have a beautiful decorative vase for flowers or whatever you can think of. And it just adds a beautiful bright pop of color to any room. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.